I'm Chad Dwyer, and you're watching TMB Production on America East TV live from the baseball championship. Welcome, Seawolves baseball fans. Brian Taylor alongside Josh Perry for that live Seawolves baseball coverage. Josh. Yeah, Brian, the Seawolves have just arrived from Olive Garden, none other than the pasta spot of the world. Yeah, they got that chicken parm. It's sitting real nice in their bellies, Josh. Yeah, Brian, it's a pretty exciting moment for all these Seawolves, for, especially for the young ones. Big opportunity to get the first America East Championship ring. Brian, the Seawolves are facing off against Binghamton. They just defeated Hartford the Hawks. Brian, what do yeah, you think Binghamton, about Yeah, Binghamton, Binghamton took down Hartford the Hawks 8 to 0, but the Seawolves are also coming off a win against Hartford 10 to 6, Josh. Yeah, Brian, a lot of bats have been striking some balls. You know what? I'm really excited to see how the how the Seawolves are going to go up against, you know, some of this Binghamton pitching. You know, they they seem a little bit low. Apparently there's a guy who can throw right-handed and left-handed, Josh. Yeah, Brian, he's actually a softball pitcher from high school. He strictly wanted to play softball his whole career. Got recruited by Binghamton. He became a pitcher. It's actually working out for him pretty well. We got a pretty good segment. We're going to send it down to Chad Lee. Here we go. Thanks, Brian and Josh, for bringing me in. I'm here with Tim, one of the groundskeepers here at Lasher Park. Tim, uh, can you tell us exactly what you're doing here? I am tamping the batter's box. Tamping the batter's box. Now, what is the uh, amount of centrifugal force that goes into the tamp that hits the ground? A lot of it. A lot of it. A lot of it. Do you, do you got a number for me? Uh, let's go with 2,000. Now, uh, how many years have you been doing this? This is my first year here. First Robin. year. First year. 12 months. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Wow. We got a newbie on the job, and it looks like you're doing a great job. Job. I, I can tell at Lelasher Field that these are one of the best ground keepers in the group in America, all right? Now, one last question. We got a Twitter question of the day from Frosty Nuggets 14. Favorite beverage, hood milk or ice cool Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Back to you, Brian and Josh. Chad, that's an awesome segment you got there. Brian, Tim the Tamper, I, I've actually heard from a couple of the spinners, administrators, that they only hire tampers with the first name T, so they can go along with the TT. Tommy the Tamper actually got fired a month ago. Wow! That is a pretty good information thing you got going for me there, Josh. Yeah, Brian, let's jump into right the now. game. Let's jump into the game right now. Tyler Hanan's going to be on the mound. They'll be relying on that left-hand arm. Well, how do you think he's going to face? I mean, like... Like we said in previous broadcasts, he's lathered up. He's going to be lathered in keels, Brian. Keels. 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 There's going to be a lot yes. of oil on both arms. He's going to he's going to try to get a little bit of this right here. Slick this on the ball, Josh. Brian, uh, we we had some. Yes, he's in the locker room right now. He's listening to Three Days Grace, their first album. He's just you know what, being Pretty a Colorado album. native. It's a it, Three Days Grace is big out in Colorado, so Three Days Grace, keep doing what you guys are doing. Colorado loves you, baby. Shout out to you. But we'd like to thank our corporate sponsors, Miller Lite, Dasani Water, Eastern ATM, delivering cash. Call the hotline, 1-877-536-3366. Josh, what you got for me on the sponsors? Radisson Hotel. It's a great place. And it's really important that we thank our corporate sponsors. They do a lot of our budgeting. It's a lot of help for us. Dasani Water, man. They really give us a lot of water, and it fuels all our players. But we're going to send it down to the injury update with Joe Guercio. Joe Guercio here. I'm going to bring you in with Daniel Zamora and the injury update. Daniel, how's our shoulder doing? It's going good, Joe. Uh, I heard that it's taking you a while to recover. Say that again, please. A while to recover. Because, oh, it, it, it's going good. It's like it's a long process, but I'm getting used to it now. It's kind of fun now. I heard that it has a big impact on the mustache. My mustache, it, it's getting better. It started off really slow and just it's coming along really well now. When can we take you back on the mound, Daniel? Hopefully next year. Big fastball guy? Slider. Love the fastball. They love the fastball. Oh, you know, Brian, Daniel Zamora was going to be a key component for the Seawolves this year. It was a little bit of a hit that he had surgery, but you know what? I see great things for him in the future. What do you think? I'm thinking really great stuff. Kid can get it anywhere from 90 to 103, Josh. 103. Yeah, yeah Joel Zamaya actually challenged him into a Guitar Hero matchup. He's like, listen, you throw 103, I throw 103. That is when he tore that tendon in his, in his arm. That actually happened back in uh, 98, Josh. I don't know. I don't know. Seawolves. Yes. 